just in the Rose Garden at Maddingley Hall, um, part of the Wall Garden, which is the older part of the Wall Garden, um, divided by the Hazel Walk, which runs down the centre of the Wall Garden here. So this is our hot corner. You can just see the echiums reaching up to the sky. They don't survive every winter. They usually die off um, with wet, cold weather in February. And so when it's wet and freezing, um, the plants don't um, make it through. They're biannuals. Um, so they start off as young, small plants. Um, and then within a few weeks, they grow, um, start growing giant spikes of flowers in the springtime, um, usually around mid-May or just at the beginning of May. We've also got a Romnia flowering. Amazing yellow center, pure white petals. The insects seem to really go for it as well. And our potato vine is just finishing flowering. It's been amazingly floriferous this year. Um, Selenum, Crispin, Gladnevin is that one. Lovely Oringium, the blue silvery colours next to the Campanula, Pritchard's variety. And this plant here, which looks like an uh, aster, but it's actually an Erigeron, uh, Erigeron sensenerity. And this lichness, Chalice Donica, the Maltese cross, absolutely zinging away with the, uh, the orangey red colour. This giant scabious. Cephalaria gigantica is just flowering. It's quite a lovely yellow. I'm not keen on yellow, but um, this is sort of a, a, a buttery, creamy yellow, which is actually rather pleasant. Geranium, stylus denim, this one's called Red Admiral. And then the Cardoons, Sayonara Cardunculus. Same genus as the artichoke. Just have a look at our hazelnut walk. So we think the hazelnut plants have been here for about 150 years. There's um, a map uh, in the archives which show uh, this position being um, a two rows of hazelnuts um, from about 150 years ago. Uh, we're not sure at what point the tunnel was arched over, but it was possibly when, uh, at some point when the university um, took over the site. prune the tunnel and tie it in every four to five years. This is the fourth year so potentially we'll be doing it this springtime. We use an aluminium tower 
and swan neck hose to pull material into the top where there is a wire which runs down the centre of the tunnel. One person hooks the branch, pulls it down to the wire and the other person then ties the branch to the wire. We usually end up removing about 25 to 50 percent of the um, stems. We take out older stems and any stems which don't look like they'll make it to the top. Um, taking out the older stems is to promote new stems which will grow from the bottom all the way up to the top. We then shred the wood which is produced from the thinning out and we actually use it to put on the ground um, underneath the hazel as a um, uh, material to walk on. Um, along the hazelnut walk. In the springtime there are aconites and snowdrops that line the two sides of the avenue. We uh, do mulch with leaf mould to try and help encourage them. We found in the past that one side um, the aconites don't like to go to so much um, and the other side the snowdrops really don't like going so we're trying to encourage um, them. When the tunnel's newly um, pruned, the tunnel actually looks like from the outside a woven basket. It's looking a little bit shaggy at the moment. Um, it's a very enjoyable job to do. Um, the start's a bit daunting, the middle you feel like you're getting somewhere and the end is very joyful.